Hey friend, I was taking apart this real tube because I'm going to make some changes to the PCB. What the plan is, is to make it so that you don't have to modify this tube socket to get it to fit. Basically all we're going to do is make the holes a little bit bigger in the library. Uh, we're probably also going to look at that switching circuit that I was talking about and we will modify it uh, with a few new parts that I that I found that I want to change. Hey, if that sounds good, join me. Let's look at this first. Uh, I'm going to change the camera angle here. I'm just going to leave this in here. I'm not going to unsolder it or anything. We still get the measurements we need. This is zeroed out. I'm going to go with millimeters. And we're going to get right at the bottom of that socket. It comes to 1.65 millimeters. So let's go to 1.75 millimeters. What we're going to do is, let me put this camera back. All right, let's see if we can modify this library. We're in the tubes, we're in the in use. So we're going to go down to tubes and edit. Now we use the 12AX7 right here. That would be the same for all the uh, nine pin tubes. But we're going to go to footprint. What we're going to do is hit the info button and we're going to go to each one of these and make the drill. See, we're in mils right now. Let's change this to millimeters grid. Millimeters, millimeters, okay. There. Now we're going to make this. 1.75 probably left enough room outside there but let's also make it let's go to three see if how that looks yeah what do you think so we'll make all these three and 1.75 all the way around There we go. We're going to save that. Go back to the board. We're going to take these out. Trash them. We can trash this and we'll put a new one in. What we're going to do is replace this with a new version of the tube. And we're going to hit this invoke for the heater like that. Okay. Now when we go back, let's see if we have the, yes, we got the bigger pins now. There. Now we have the bigger pins and we could relay out this PCB and we'll go from there. I'm going to just save this. I'm going to do that separately. Yeah, it's nice with the bigger holes in there. Let's zoom in on them and see, make sure we got everything how we want it. Yeah, that's better. Yep. 
to bigger size pads. Okay. Save. And we're going to get out of that. And we're going to go back to this one. What we're going to do is replace this H11F1 with that, what was it called? 27 TLP222A. Mostly because the on state resistance is a lot less. So it's going to be more transparent to the circuit. So what we're going to have to do is figure out which pin goes with what. So one and two is the infrared light emitting diode. And one and two is the infrared light emitting diode on this one. But this only has four pins. So I'm not sure if this is spaced like one and three. So we're going to have to check this here. So one and two goes with one and two here. And four and six, see three and five aren't connected on the H11F1. So we got four and six going to three and four. So this is correct for one and two on the, let's see if we have that package. We do, we have it right here. Awesome. So we're gonna put this here first and get rid of this. One and two, four and six, and this. Move this in place. Did that connect? <laughs> it did connect. All right. So we could always go back to this and see that this connects here and here. Those two connected correctly. And this comes from, let's get rid of this. goes to there. Okay. That's all we wanted to do, but now we have to just make the board again. Let's see if this saved any space. Mm, not really. It did save some space. And we're also going to put this enclosure in here so it fits in a 1590A just perfectly. All right, there we go. We're gonna take out this dimension line here and here, here and here. And we're gonna make it curve around here. We're gonna leave enough space. See how we left space here and here and here. We're gonna leave the same amount of space. There it is. Aha, we need to put this on mention and let's see what the size is with the zero perfect Let's get rid of this one and get rid of this curve right here. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's try it with the alt button down. See if we get a little closer. Ah, that's better. And we'll do this. And there. We get rid of this line. And this line. I think we left enough room for these. Looks good. And I'm going to move that in just a smidge. There. We're going to save that. And what we're going to do is do a rip up command. Get rid of all those traces. And we're going to lay it out again. Let's get rid of this enclosure. We don't need that anymore. 
There. All right. We can bring some things down here so they're out of the way. Oh, we're also going to add a potentiometer here. All right, let's put this. We're going to change. We're going to keep this in here, but we're going to change the value to a lower value. And we're going to move these over and get rid of this. We could have done this between pins one and two as well. It doesn't matter. Um, if you go between pins one and three, it's a constant resistance. We're going to make this, what, a 10K? Let's make a 10K. That way, even if we got this all the way off, we still have at least 1K of resistance here. And we could go up to 11K of resistance. Uh, that'll probably make it nice and dim but it may also affect this. So we're going to end up probably keeping it right around three to five. Uh, but this 10K is readily available. And I think that's a good, good plan. Now when we go back here, we have the potentiometer, the trim pot. We can stick that up here somewhere. I can move it that'd be awesome there we can put it anywhere up there probably end up putting it up here somewhere anyway I'm gonna lay this out a little bit better and condense it as much as possible and we'll talk the next time thanks for stopping by I really appreciate it hope you have a great day